Hey guys, so I wanted to uh, share with you something that's been encouraging to me that I've been reading through in my own devotions. And it might be a story that a lot of you have already heard or read, and uh, you might be pretty familiar with it, but I want to look at it and I want you to be encouraged by it. So we're going to be in Matthew chapter 14, and I'm going to be starting off by reading verses 22 through 24. It says, Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side. Well, he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Now, a lot of people will take this section, they'll talk about Jesus walking on water, and they'll talk about Peter stepping out of the boat. I want to focus on this section right here. So right in verse 23, after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. So we see Jesus meeting with God, right? He's meeting with uh, his father, right? He's praying with him. And I, I, that should be encouraging to us. We see Jesus doing this, so we should be using this time to meet uh, with God in prayer, right? Come before the father, right? So Jesus, we see him doing that. And the second thing I want to look at is, it says, 24, but the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. We know the disciples were out in the boat going across in the water and they were in a crazy storm. And we know, right, from this passage that Jesus fully understood what was going on. That he saw and he allowed for them to be out there and to struggle for a little while before he ends up going out. If you read on, Jesus walks out to them and he meets them and, and we see him calm the storm, right? And so we know that he knew what was going on. He allowed himself as we're in this storm right now, as we're all quarantined to our homes and we're figuring things out, we have to understand that God, had, he knows what's happening. He knew it was going to come and he knows when it's, going to go, when it's going to end, right? And it's going to be in his perfect timing. And we see Jesus do that. Now, I just want to share one last thing with you, right? It says, uh, then Peter got down out of the boat, right? They, they see Jesus coming. Peter said, if it is you, if it is you Lord, let, let, let me come out to you. And Jesus says, come. And then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reaches out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. As, as we walk through this time, as, as we see the things that are happening on social media and the things that people post and on the news and all sorts of stuff, that fear stirs up and it can cause us doubt and it can cause confusion, right? But when we look at this passage, we know how big and how powerful God is. That this, this the entire situation is in his hands and that we can rest in that. Right? It says that he was powerful enough not only to walk on the water, but to calm the storm. To allow Peter to walk on the water until he's out, he pulls him back in and he saves him. Right? In God's perfect timing, we will come out of this. Now, it doesn't mean that we're not going to go through it with struggling, and it might not mean that it's not going to be hard, but we have to trust that this is completely in God's hands and that he is all-powerful. And that he's going to bring us through that. So that's my encouragement to you, is to trust in the Lord, that he has this and he's going to take care of us and he knows when it's going to go end in his perfect timing and that we can rest in that. We can have hope in that.